verbal reasoning logic manoj and shekhar are tall shekhar and amit are fair amit and jafar are players jafar and shekhar are strong who is tall strong and fair let's write tall we know that manoj and shekhar are tall all right then we write a for amit and we write fair and we uh, do a tick mark on shekhar as shekhar and amit are fair then we write j for jafar amit and jafar are players so we write player here then we do a tick mark on amit and we do a tick mark on jafar uh then we write strong and we know that jafar and shekhar are strong so we write jafar and shekhar all right so now we need to find out who is tall strong and fair we see that only shekhar has all the three tick marks on tall fair and strong so shekhar is tall strong and fair Milind and Jafar play hockey. Chetan and Rohit play volleyball. Rohit and Milind play cricket. Jafar and Chetan play basketball. How many boys play two games each? Now let's draw a table and write down the names here. M for Milind, J for Jafar and write down the game here on the left. Hockey Now let's tick what comes for hockey who plays hockey Milind and Jafar so let's put a tick for M and J for hockey now let's add in Chetan and Rohit and write down the game volleyball now Chetan and Rohit play volleyball so we put ticks next to them and add in cricket and add a tick mark for Rohit and Milind add in basketball and add a tick for jafar and chetan so all boys play two games is what we can see from here because there are two tick marks for every column for every name there are two tick marks so all boys play two games right let's move on to the next question divya navya and rekha live near each other one has a black cat one has a white dog rekha has a goldfish the owner of the cat has a house with blue door navya's house has a yellow door who is the owner of the cat let's draw a table let's write names here divya navya and rekha and write the pet on the left side as a row pet door is written on the left side now we observe that rekha has a goldfish so we write goldfish below rekha and pet navya's house has a yellow door so we write yellow under navya and under the door So Rekha cannot own the cat. She already has a goldfish. Navya cannot own the cat. Her house door is yellow. So we put a cross there. We only have Divya then. So Divya owns the cat. Next question. If there are no dancers that are not slim and no singers that are not dancers, what is true? Now let's evaluate all the options. Let's take the first one. All singers are slim. There are no dancers that are not slim. That's given. So that means all dancers are slim. There are no singers that are not dancers. That means all singers are dancers. Now we know that all dancers are slim. all singers are dancers 
So we can say that all singers are slim. So the first option is correct. But what about the rest of them? Are they wrong or are they correct? Let's find out. Let's take the second option. No slim person is a dancer. But it's given that all dancers are slim. So the second option is not right. Now we take the third option. Anybody slim is also a singer. It is not necessary that every slim person is also a singer. So that is wrong too. Now let's take the fourth option. None of the given options. Of course, that's not true because we've already found out the right answer, which is A. Let's move on. Nidhi and Reva's houses have apple trees. Vaibhav and Vikas's houses have mango trees. Vikas and Rajiv have coconut trees at their house. Reva is Vaibhav's sister. Whose house has only apple trees? Let's draw a table for this. We write Nidhi and Reva here and apple here. And we put tick marks under Nidhi and Reva for apple. Next we read Vaibhav and Vikas's houses have mango trees. So we write Vaibhav and Vikas here and mango here. And put tick marks for mango under their names. Then we write Rajiv and add in coconut here. Then we put a tick mark for Vikas and Rajiv under the coconut because they have coconut trees at their house. Reva is Vaibhav's sister. That means everything at Reva's house is at Vaibhav's house. So we put a tick mark for apple too. Reva is Vaibhav's sister. That means everything at Vaibhav's house is also at Reva's house. So we put a tick mark for mango too. Now, whose house has only apple trees from the table? You can see that it's Nidhi. So Nidhi is the correct answer. Moving on. Paya likes all animals. Shobha likes all animals except cats. Neha likes only dogs. Rachna likes all animals except dogs. Which two girls like cats? Let's draw a table. Cats Dogs go here. We also add in all animals here. Then we add in pile and we put a tick mark for all because pile likes all animals. So all animals means dogs and cats too. Correct? Next, Shobha likes all animals except cats. So we put a tick mark for all and a tick mark for dogs and a cross for cat. Neha likes only dogs. So we write down Neha and we tick only dogs and put a cross for the rest, cats and all. Then we write Rachna and we put a tick mark for all, a cross for dogs and a tick mark for cats because Rachna likes all animals except dogs. Now we can see which two girls like cats can we find out? Sure, it's Payal and Rachna. That's the correct answer. Let's move on. Point number one. Every three years, the river in the village floods. Point number two. The river flooded 15 years ago. What conclusion can you draw based on these statements? The river will flood next year. The river flooded last year. The river will flood this year. The river will flood every 15 years. The river flooded 15 years ago. So it flooded 12 years ago, 9 years ago, 6 years ago, 3 years ago. Next, this year. 
so the river will flood this year so we choose option c but we assume that the river floods every 3 years remember that first point is the given point and it's important moving on some students in the class play guitar second point all guitar players are musicians what conclusion can you draw based on these statements all musicians in the class play guitar b some students in the class are musicians let's check option a all guitar players are musicians musicians can play other instruments too so all musicians need not play the guitar so the first option is wrong let's take the second option some students play guitar play guitar means they are musicians so some students in the class are musicians this is correct let's move on all kings are mighty a few kings are sensitive what conclusion can you draw based on these statements few kings are not mighty few mighty kings are sensitive all kings are sensitive all mighty kings are sensitive check options one by one let's go for option a it goes directly against one few kings are not mighty but it's given that all kings are mighty so it's wrong let's take option b few mighty kings are sensitive we know all kings are mighty so we can call any king a mighty king two becomes few mighty kings are sensitive so option b is correct let's check the third option but it goes directly against point 2 which says few kings are sensitive and point c is all kings are sensitive but that's wrong so option c is wrong now let's check option d option d goes directly against b which is correct right since it's opposite d is wrong got it great next point number 1 it rained day before yesterday point number 2 today is wednesday if these statements are true which of these is also true a it also rained yesterday b it rained on sunday c it rained on monday d it did not rain on tuesday point a let's take point a we know it rained day before yesterday we have no idea if it rained yesterday so point a is wrong let's check point b it rained on sunday today is wednesday yesterday was tuesday day before yesterday was monday it rained on monday so we actually have found the right answer which is option c but let's check the second option what about sunday we have no information so we can't say for sure whether it rained or not so option b is wrong we know option c is right but let's see about option d what about tuesday we have no information so can't say for sure whether it rained or not so option d is wrong too let's move on to the next question point number 1 most teachers are boys point number 2 some boys are students if these statements are true which of these is also true point number 1 some students are boys let's consider that some boys are students students can be boys or girls so some students are boys this statement is okay let's check the second statement 
Some teachers are students. Teachers and students are totally different. Teachers teach, students learn. Teachers teach the students. So this statement is ridiculous. So it's wrong. And that brings us to the end of this lesson.